guys, it's Dan, your host of your Danger Reviews, and today I'm back for another Saturday Spotlight video for this week. This one is going to be doing a character spotlight video on Gabriel from the Walking Dead television series. So, this one of course was suggested by Blind Entertainment, so everybody go subscribe right now to Blind Entertainment, because of course Blind Entertainment is the one who suggested this video. So, um... This week's character spotlight video is going to be a character spotlight video on Gabriel. So, of course, if you want to get a shout out from me, uh, all you got to do is uh, be the first one to comment uh, the next character spotlight video, the first one to suggest the ne uh, next character spotlight video, and I will pick your comment and I will make sure to pin your comment so everybody sees that you're the uh, the one that's uh, you know basically deciding what we're going to do for next week's uh, spotlight. And uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a shout out in next week's video for suggesting the next character spotlight video. So, um, for this week, Gabriel. So, Blind Entertainment, big shout out to him for uh, this video. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my uh, birthday haul video from yesterday. Uh, it was a pretty fun video to make. Uh, and also, uh, I know a lot of people were saying uh, that uh, the, uh, they uh, kind of want to see a review for uh, Volume 32. So, I might go ahead and do that uh, in the next couple days, something like that. So, yeah, that's really, really cool. Walking Dead uh, uh, Volume uh, volume 32 uh, right there. Really cool stuff. So, um, Anyway, so let's discuss uh, Gabriel's character. So, of course, he's introduced in The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 2, and still alive in The Walking Dead Season 10. But uh, for right now, uh, from Season 5, Episode 2, to Season uh, 9, Episode uh, 16. So, uh, yeah, so of course, when he's introduced, he's hated. I mean, I think right away. Um, he doesn't want them to be in his church but he kind of has no choice. He doesn't really, um, you know, fit into the group very well. And, you know, I mean, over time, they have to leave his church. They destroy his church because they want to kind of get it ready for battle and stuff like that while Rick and the others are gone at, uh, you know, to go save Beth. Uh, but, of course, uh, they destroy his church. I mean, pretty much over time. They really do destroy Gabriel's church. But, uh, of course, uh, on their way to Alexandria, we get to see that uh, he... I, I really like the episode where him and Maggie, uh, you know, they were discussing about Beth and all this kind of stuff. And then when he's eating, uh, he's kind of... You know, they're all eating the, do uh, the dogs or whatever. And he kind of takes the thing off or whatever and then starts eating the dog or whatever. So, um kind of showing that, uh, you know, he's, you know, kind of uh, changing his ways type of thing. So we get to see him basically uh, at, you know, Alexandria be a, a priest. Uh, he has like his own little church and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, we get to see that he, you know, he rats out the group to Deanna saying that they're not good people. You shouldn't have let them in. And now you may not be able to get them out. Um, and that they are, they're dangerous, that type of thing, and what they've done, they've done unspeakable things and all this kind of stuff. And at this time in the show, I was like, I hate this guy so much. Like, I just, I just hate this guy. And then, of course, uh, in season six, he kind of wants to help out with the herd. And Rick's like, no, no. Like, I remember the specific part where he's like, I'd like to help as well. And Rick's like, no, who else? So, uh, he just, Rick and everybody else pretty much hate Gabriel, um, and, of course, the wolves attack Alexandria, and he doesn't know how to use a weapon. So, Morgan has to kind of save Gabriel during the attack. So, uh, we get to see that, of course. And then, of course, he puts on the walker guts with everybody else. And he also decides to take Judith to the church to kind of keep her safe. Which he does make it there, which is also really cool, because I didn't think he would. So, um... We get to see him pretty much redeem himself over time throughout season six, even to the point where, you know, he's carrying around a rifle, he's helping them out with the saviors, he's killing people at the satellite station along with them, and, uh, yeah, he just really is turning into an awesome character. So, uh, then, of course, in season, uh, because really, aside from that, in season six, he didn't do too much else, but, um, uh, aside from him and Spencer defending Alexandria when Rick and the others were gone in the season six finale, uh, trying to deal with Negan. So, um... And the saviors and stuff. So, uh, in season, uh, seven, I remember Gabriel was kind of, uh, you know, you, you could almost say, uh, he was the most positive one out of this whole Negan storyline because he's like, like when, when they're trying to find the two guns or whatever that are missing when Negan shows up, um, Gabriel's just like, we'll find the guns. We'll get through today. You know, um, he's like, I just, I know this is all going to work out. And he's right. It, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but Gabriel was right because, uh, Rick's like, how on earth is this going to work out, Gabriel? You know, um, and, uh, I just, I really like it. You know, he's like, uh, you know, you're my friend. It wasn't always that way, you know? So, um, but I, I really like that whole scene because it's like, if you look at it, they defeat the saviors and they win, you know, just like Gabriel said, everything worked out, you know? So, so, um, 
Maybe he's a little over, you know, over positive, you know, sometimes, but really, he was kind of right. And I love the scene, uh, and I have to mention it at Alexandria, where he's like, because uh, they're talking about Maggie, right, and how she didn't make it. And he's like, do you care to pay your respects? And then he's like, holy crap, you know? Um, and uh, he's just like, my, hey, uh, my apologies, I'm Father Gabriel, you know? And he's just like, he's just like, you, you're like, you're really freaky, dude. So, um, Negan is kind of already creeped out by, uh, you know, Gabriel, of course. Um, um, and I just love that scene so much when Gabriel kind of uh, sneaks up or whatever and kind of scares Negan, you know. So, uh, yeah, we got that, of course, and then, uh, you know, we and, and I like that because then Gabriel and Negan get to have an episode in season uh, season 8. So, uh, even though that episode wasn't the best with uh, the two of them, but, you know, whatever. So, uh, we get to see basically Gabriel uh, throughout season 7, uh, you know, he, I'm not going to say too much. You know, he was there, he helped them, you know, fight the uh, saviors, but for the most part, he, he kind of was in the background for a while. But the one thing he, that did happen with him, which is one thing I do want to mention, as well is he was captured by Jadis so he's kind of the one that introduced the junkyard group along with them um of course they got Gabriel back once they made the deal for them to fight the saviors even though Jadis screwed them over in the finale but uh, I really like all that and that was really really cool to see as well and uh, you know in season eight uh, Gabriel is of course uh, you know he they attack the sanctuary and when he sees Gregory he kind of has no choice but as a uh, as a priest as a you know uh, as a priest to go over there and you know help uh, Gregory even though what Gregory did just beforehand telling them to kind of surrender to the saviors wasn't exactly the right thing to do but uh, of course uh, you know uh, Gregory takes off Gabriel is stranded at the sanctuary um and then, of course, him and Negan are kind of stuck in this, uh, you know, uh, like, little, like, you know, a uh, trailer type thing. So, uh, yeah, we get to see them, basically. I really like how Gabriel tries to break Negan, and it does work, because he does talk about Lucille, and he does talk about all this kind of stuff. Um, and, of course, uh, when they decide to kind of uh, vacate and get out of there, uh, Negan kind of earns respect for Gabriel a little bit, you know? Um, I really like the part where he gives him the gun, he's like, you're forgiven, and Negan's like, Phew. Thanks, you can keep your gun, you know, so uh, I like that, and then of course, uh, you know, we get to see them uh, break out, uh, and then we get to see Gabriel pretty much get an, uh, an infection, um, you know, uh, kind of lose his vision a little bit from, uh, you know, probably just the walk or guts and all this kind of stuff, kind of get sick and all that stuff, um, and then we get to see basically, uh, you know, Gabriel try to escape with Dr. Carson, which I actually didn't like that episode too much in season 8, but the, the episode with uh, Gabriel and Dr. Carson, but it was cool, Dr. Carson of course dies, um, which was kind of sad as well, but, uh, you know, I do like, too, how, uh, you know, they were very, you know, Gabriel was very hopeful and stuff, and Dr. Carson's just like, why are you so happy? You know, you're losing your vision. So, uh, anyway, we get to see that, and then we get to see Gabriel uh, at the, uh, the bullet, you know, outpost type thing, and helping uh, Eugene with the bullets. So, uh, yeah, we get to see that at the end of the season. Gabriel is basically uh, free once Negan and the Saviors are, uh, you know, uh, defeated. Um... And then in season nine, starts a relationship with uh, Jadis. So that's only a few episode thing, but he does find out about the helicopter group and that she's talking to them. Um, and he's just like, no, I, I have to tell Rick. You know, it's just I, I can't I can't not tell Rick. Uh, and then, of course, she kind of, you know, uh, captures him. So, um, but then lets him go afterwards, and then Jadis just kind of leaves. Uh, but to save Rick, so there is that. So uh, we get to see Gabriel uh, then after that in a relationship with Rosita after the huge time skip. Uh, and then, uh, she was also with Sadiq before that, holy frick, Rosita, like, honestly, chill out a little bit, uh, you know, but, uh, anyway, we get to see, uh, Gabriel, uh, and Rosita in a relationship, and I was kind of like, I don't know how I feel about this right now, now I'm kind of like, eh, it's okay, but, uh, you know, when I first saw it, I was like, bro, what is this, like, seriously, um, so anyway, we get to see Gabriel, uh, you know, uh, with uh, Prisoner Negan at a time there too, uh, and in the second half of the season, he's part of the council and all that stuff, uh, and at the end of the season, we get to see the scene with, between him and uh, Negan, which I did like as well, where he's like, uh, uh, you know, you're not the father, you know, that's kind of awkward, you know, Sadiq's like right there, you know, so, uh, and even Gabriel has to laugh with Negan at some parts, you know, so, uh, yeah, but just, just to recap at the end of it, you know, uh, you know, um, you know how to fight. You are low on fighters. Peanut butter, meat jelly, you know. So I'm, I'm excited to see uh, more of Gabriel this season. I'm not sure if he's necessarily going to survive season 10, but I do like Gabriel's character throughout the series. And definitely, if he's killed off in season uh, 10, we'll definitely have to do another character spotlight video on Gabriel. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Of course, write your comments in the comment section below. What do you think of Gabriel's character and what character spotlight do, uh, video do, uh, do you guys want to see me do next week? Uh, one I haven't done is a Rick Grimes spotlight, so I think I should do that in the next couple weeks too. 
Because uh, honestly, Rick is one character I, I don't have in my character spotlights. I did I did one like years ago. I think I need to do an updated one. So anyway, but uh, but that's up to you guys. So uh, what video uh, do you guys want to see for next week? What character spotlight do you guys want to see next week? That is up to you guys. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys really soon for another video. Peace out.